Good day everyone, I am Angela Espinosa. Okay, so magdi-discuss ako ng question that I gave to you sa group chat. No, uh, We talk about um, agricultural economics and marketing. So, this is the question that I gave to you. Uh, equilibrium price will blank with an increase in demand and a decrease in supply. So, the choices are, we have letter A, remain the same. Letter B, decrease. Letter C, un unknown. Letter D, increase. Okay, so paano ba ito sagutin yung mga rito? First thing first is that you should have an idea on the law of demand and the law of supply. Okay, especially the graph on how this shifting to the right and shifting to the left happening. Okay, when there's an increase of demand and decrease in demand. So what do you mean by that? No, what is the shifting on that? Okay, so what is the direction? That is the very important thing. Okay, so let's start first with the statement that uh, already given to you. So we have here equilibrium price. Okay, when you talk about equilibrium price, it means that the it is the perfect the perfect economic balance no in which the supply and demand are equal so ibig sabihin nag equal sila walang walang shortage walang surplus walang nangunguna at walang nagkukulang okay so bali siya lang yung nagkulang kaya wala kayong equilibrium price can give anyone can you say that is equilibrium price okay so will blanks no sabi dito may nangyayari pag sinabi mong will ibig sabihin in the future ibig sabihin meron ng um old yon uh, old equilibrium price so pag sinabi mong will ibig sabihin in the future, may nangyari in the future ibig sabihin mag magkakaroon ng bagong equilibrium price, so it means that this is a pag sinabi equilibrium price will it means that this is a citrus paribus what is citrus paribus? it means that the other things held constant ibig sabihin, or equal so ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ka ng imaginary line, or imaginary um, graph na na it, it draws an equilibrium price. So, let's draw first an equilibrium price. Okay? Sabi niya kasi dyan, equilibrium price will. So, this is an example of the graph of equilibrium price. So, we have here the demand uh, uh, curve and the supply curve. So, we have here the price and we have here the quantity demand or it's either quantity supply. Okay? So, in the upwards uh, sloping curve, this is a supply curve. And in the downwards, uh, downward sloping curve, and this is what we call the demand curve. So, you have here your equilibrium price. Okay? So, this is your or old equilibrium price. So, because it talks about the will, so equilibrium price, will, ibig sabihin, may bago, blank, may, ibig sabihin, may bagong equilibrium price. So, th this will be your old equilibrium price. So, you're going to compute. So, what, uh, we're going to, uh, to know or to check kung ano yung bagong equilibrium price. If it is, if is it increasing, uh, decreasing ba, or remain the same, or cannot be determined, okay? So, another, we have here the given that when, when with an increase in demand. So, these are the factors or determinants that happening uh, in changing, uh, when there is a changes in the graph, or yes, in the shifting of the graphs, okay? With an increase in demand, pag sinabing increase in demand, sabihin tumataas daw yung demand. So, when you say uh, increase in demand, that is shifting to the right. So, always remember, when increase in demand, that is shifting to the right. Okay, when decrease in demand, that is also a uh, shifting to the left. Okay, so that is varying. It depends on the uh, the shifting of the demand curve is varying. It depends on the determinants happened, no, uh, or um, uh, uh, the determinants given to you. Okay, so we have also and a decrease in supply. Ano ibig sabihin ng decrease in supply? Ibig sabihin is shifting to the left. Okay, so decrease in supply is equal to the shifting to the left. So the graph of supply, a poor sloping slope, will be shifting to the left. Okay, and then we have here, pag sinabi mo namang increasing to the, increasing supply, that is shifting to the right. So always remember that, okay. Now, there is an equivalent on the uh, directions, no? Uh, mayroon silang um, uh, purpose and each, okay? So, isa-isahin natin. Sabi ito, equilibrium price will blank with an increase in demand. So, let's go now to the graph, okay? So, first and foremost here, sabi ito, increase in, um, what do you call this? Increase in the demand. So, I talk about increase in demand that is uh, shifting to the right. So, shifting to the right is somewhere in here, okay? So, this is a shifting to the Right, okay, so pag shifting to the left, sa baba naman, okay, so it means that it is increasing, so this is your new demand now, and then sabi dito, a decrease in supply, so saan yung decrease in supply, decrease in supply is shifting to the right, so saan yung shifting to the right mo dyan? that is decreasing supply, right, so your decreasing supply there is um, so, uh, happening here, so it means that your upward sloping curve, uh, supply curve that is uh, shifting to the left, meaning the, the the supply is decreasing. Okay, so this is your new supply now. So what happened now to the your equilibrium price? No, ano nangyayari ngayon sa yung equilibrium price? Okay, okay, let's check first. Okay, change lang natin yung ating uh, uh, pen. 
color. So what happening now to your equilibrium price? No, galing dito, this is your old equilibrium price, right? So now ang equilibrium price mo ay nasa taas na. So this is what we call an increasing of um equilibrium price. So the correct answer here is uh, increase, no? Because there's an increasing of equilibrium price. Paano naman pag decrease no equilibrium price? Ibig sabihin nasa baba yung equilibrium price price. It means that both demand and supply should be in decrease para equilibrium price will also decrease. Of how about naman pag remain the same, no? Paano ang remain the same? If there are, if one of the uh, one of uh, one of the given, uh, one of the given question is a zero or a none or a non-zero, so that will give you a remain the same of equilibrium price. So that is my explanation on the uh, question that I gave to you. So, if you have a clarification, no, if you have question on this, no, um, you can um, uh, do not hesitate to ask me. You can approach me and talk me again. Okay? You can, uh, you can uh, 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 message me directly to my messenger. Okay? Thank you very much for listening. And again, this is your uh, Angelo Espinosa, your lecturer on agri agriculture, economics, and marketing. Again, good evening everyone.